Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back and happy Thursday. All right, guys. Well, this morning has been absolutely insane because I had to run Jason to the airport because he's headed back to New York. I'm literally in our horrible human hoodie over here um, supporting Caroline Stanberry men Sergio. So that's fun. But in the meantime, we're back to talk about one of the real housewives of New York. It would be OG housewife Ramona Singer, who is now trashing the hell out of the real housewives of New York. And she's making some interesting claim so we have a lot to discuss but before we jump in if you guys haven't already go ahead smash that like button if you're not subscribed get subscribed don't forget to hit that notification bell and with that let's jump right in it's time for all your binge worthy pop culture news welcome to up and adam All right, guys, so at BravoCon, Ramona Singer sat down with Carlos King. Now, when she did, he asked her about the future in this whole spinoff featuring Ramona and some of the other OGs called The Real Housewives of New York Legacy. She had some interesting takes on this. She said, I've been there for a long time. I mean, never say never. Yeah, they all say that. But I also feel like the legacy legacy show, she said, how could it be really good? The people that they're going to, you know, bring back are the people that they didn't want to renew anyways. She said, so now what? Are you going to call it the loser show? The Luger, loser legacy? I can't even say the loser show, the loser legacy. Like, what? Are you, how do you... She's calling it the loser show, not me. So don't get off my back about this. But Ramona, who is the only New York housewife to remain full time for all 13 seasons of the franchise, is learning to adjust to life without Bravo, without the Bravo cameras following her since, well, she stopped filming. The last episode aired in 2021. So it's been some time. But then at BravoCon, I mean, she kind of looked uncomfortable, but she also was just like running around all over the place. And I feel like that's exactly how she would be anyways, because I feel like she's always looking for like the next opportunity of something. I don't know if I want to do it again for a lot of reasons. I'm much calmer now that I haven't done the show. I know this is an oxymoron, but I really don't like being recognized. Hmm. Now, she also insists that she is loving life with less exposure. All of a sudden, people aren't bugging me. Like, are you Ramona? I know you're on a date, but can I have a photo? I don't like all of the attention. And guess what? The men I date don't like all of the attention. Even my girlfriends don't. They'll say, oh my gosh, Ramona, I used to go out with you and 20 people would come up to you and now it's only one. So I don't like the attention. After one year, it just takes one year and nobody's recognizing you anymore? What the hell happened, Ramona? 13 long seasons. Now no one's recognizing you. What? Okay. Now Ramona also claimed that she didn't enjoy having to interact with the media during the Real Housewives of New York. She said, and the reason I'm reading this is because I want to make sure I get the quote right. I don't want to put words in Ramona's mouth because she has threatened to sue people before. Like the post. I really don't like the press. The press has stressed me out with all of this stuff. That was really, really, really hurtful and made me really unhinged. I mean, unhinged. And I realize now I'm so much more relaxed. All my friends say I'm 50% more calmer. I still have high energy, but I'm not as much of a hard ass. There's something more gentle and I'm actually able to date now in a better way. Well, I'm glad she was able to figure out that right but that is not all of it it's not over Ramona because Ramona Singer is now also insisting that Ebony K Williams was not blackballed by the Real Housewives of New York cast and she addressed claims that well she was called racist and slams the decisions that Bravo made about Roni Thank you again to all about the Real Housewives according to the OG New York housewife she said season 13, which consisted of herself, Leah McSweeney, Luann Delisep, Sonia Morgan, and Ebony K. Williams, they were not unwilling to negotiate with Ebony to keep her on the show moving forward. Hmm. They were not, according to the OG housewife, the season cast were not unwilling to negotiate with Ebony to keep her on the show moving forward. Does that mean, okay, so they were willing to negotiate to keep her on the show, right? What happened was, if you see the last episode, we really came together as a team, as a cast, and I really wish that happened earlier, where Ebony finally loosened up. 
That's what Ram- Ramona said again on Carlos King. I mean, that was such a bad season, though, guys. Such a bad cast. It just really, the whole thing was, it was a bad season of the Real Housewives of New York. That's all, let's just call it, call it what it is. Ramona claims that when the Real Housewives of New York wrapped season 13 in early 2021, they were comfortable with Ebony joining their circle. However, as the season began to air, that all changed. She likes to write things in the press and the PR department couldn't control her. That's what Ramona's claiming. She would say things and give interviews that she shouldn't have given, and she'd say things that she shouldn't have said that were really hurtful, not really truthful. It was her viewpoint, but made us feel not good because we're a team. Now, she also insisted that Ebony went to Bravo with unfounded allegations against her, slamming her as a racist, and she said that those allegations were also hurtful. You can call me unfiltered, not polite, always in a rush. I forget people's names, you know? Yes, I'm all of those. But one thing I'm not is a racist. The press picked it up and they had a field day. I'm not calling her a racist, but I do agree with she's a lot of things that she I've heard that she's unfiltered. I heard that she's not polite. I did hear that she's always in a rush. I hate slamming somebody as a racist without actually having evidence. And I know that a lot of people want to believe, yes, like she went in there and she said these things that I believe what they said that she said about Ebony is this is why we shouldn't have black people on the show, which if she did in fact say that and they can prove it and somebody had it on tape because there's always cameras everywhere. And this was apparently a filming event. So there should have been a hot mic moment. Then, yeah, you should be fired. But she's saying that those claims were unfounded, that they didn't have any actual evidence. Or someone was protecting. I don't know. I don't know. She also addressed why the Real Housewives of New York cast never had a reunion for season 13 and denied that it had anything to do with her refusing to film. People were saying they're not doing the reunion because Ramona refuses to do it. And I'm like, no, this is my job, my position. I always fulfill my position and my job, and I'm not afraid to do anything. At BravoCon this past weekend, Annie confirmed that the season 13 reunion never happened due to timing and scheduling issues. I mean... They pretty much said that it was not because Ramona was afraid. They said, because of the timing issues, our show didn't film in September. Andy told me himself because we have had a good relationship. He said, Ramona, we normally don't start doing the next season until after the reunion airs, but we're going to start after we tape the reunion and then we're going to start filming. Well, Ramona, that didn't work out the way that you thought, right? I mean, and then when she was asked about the idea of legacy too, I thought this was interesting. Ramona hates the idea and thinks it's ridiculous. I don't think it's a good decision to tell you the truth. I think it's ridiculous, but that's my opinion. You know, I mean, Bravo, listen, Bravo has been very good to me. I got paid very well. It opened up a lot of doors for me, but I still think it's not a good decision. Well, Ramona has let us know exactly what she thinks. So I want to hear what you guys think with her bashing the Real Housewives of New York, calling Legacy the Loser Show. I don't think she's going to be back. I asked a few people. um, I asked one of her good friends, actually, and they said that, no, she's not coming back. And Melissa Gorga said that she talked to her and she's not coming back. I honestly, personally, just don't think she's coming back. But go ahead, comment below. And before you go, don't forget to smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And with that, We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Love you.